So in the previous problem, we considered a block that was initially at rest and then a 5 Newton force is applied to it, and we needed to calculate the momentum. In this problem, we're going to look at the same block of mass 12 kilos, and it's traveling at a constant velocity of one, meters, one meter per second on a horizontal smooth plane. A force of 5 newtons is again applied to the block parallel to the plane. Find the momentum of the block after two seconds. So it just so happened the method that we worked through coincided with just multiplying the force by the time. Okay, so we're going to consider this problem here where the initial velocity is not zero. So we have our block on a smooth surface. It's got a mass of 12 kilos, so a weight of 12 g, normal reaction force, and a 5 newton force is applied to it. Now, because it's smooth, there's no resistance forces. We can resolve to the right, take it to the right as positive, um, 5 uh, take away no resistance forces is equal to the mass 12 times the acceleration. So the acceleration is 5 twelfths meters per second per second. So what we can now do is we can utilize the constant acceleration formulae, so suit that, where the acceleration is 5 twelfths. We have an initial velocity of 1 meters per second. And we want to work out the momentum. So we need the velocity after two seconds. So the SUVAT formula that doesn't involve S is V equals U plus AT. So V is equal to 1 plus 5 twelfths times 2. So that's 1 plus 5 sixths. Uh, and that's 11 sixths meters per second. So the momentum is equal to, well, we've got the mass times the velocity. So 12 times by the velocity 11 over 6. And so in this case, we have 22 newton seconds. And that's our momentum. So you can see that in this case, the momentum is not just calculated by multiplying the force by the time. And that's because the only thing that I changed was that the block is no longer at rest. It has an initial velocity of one meter per second.